And this is our route. Little ledge near Henry's shack. This is the way we came from, heading north all the way to Newburyport. And this takes a dip down as we head south. Conceivably all the way to Duxbury, but for today, Lincoln will do. Oh, they set the trail up to bring you down lakeside for a little ways. Nice. Kind of like entrance stage left. Water looks kind of low. We're now on the pond path. Ah, some new blazes. Stonework. Remember, the Commonwealth had to fence off a lot of this back in the 70s because morons were wrecking it. <laughs> yeah, something flopping around in the water. Here we have it, the Henry-esque em epicenter on a somewhat overcast day. Somebody dog paddling over on one side. Over here is along the railroad track edge where we'll eventually part company with America's most famous little kettle hole pond. It's funny, I remember when I used to fish here, the swimmers would be kind of oblivious to the fact that I was sitting there with a fishing pole. There was a bobber in their way and they had a good chance of getting a hook in the nuts. But such is modern abstract America. Cognitive skills aren't what they used to be. And so I head out from the water's edge on boulder stairs that probably date back to the old Civilian Conservation Corps post-depression pre-World War II. Woodpecker up in there. Basin gets more defined. The trail's been pummeled into submission. <laughs> That's funny though, I remember when these 
fence things didn't exist. <coughs> it was kind of like coincided with the rise of my idiot generation, the baby boomers. Once us slobs showed up, the poor commonwealth had to gate the living crap out of this place to keep all the complete idiots that we are from wrecking it. So, the things have been here ever since. What would Henry think? base circuit blaze that hasn't been damaged. A stirring in the underbrush. This fence is actually a cool idea. It kind of gives all the local critters a bit of a buffer from buffoons. It's a buffoon buffer. A red pine there. But all this stone work dates back to the CCC. Oh, look, please stay on trails, you jackasses. <laughs> Restricted ass access. Restoration zone. Violators are subject to fines. But it's been restricted since, I don't know, 1972, when I used to come here with my friend Andriani and Sarah Wales. It was a big excursion. <laughs> yes, because of baby boomers. And then the narcissistic jackasses that follow, Walden's had to have eternal fencing. What would Henry say? How's it going? Huh, it has a funny kind of blue-green hue to it. I mean, it was just a light reflection in the day. And ever so slight rain falling. Yeah, it's like white cedar. And a demure little shroom trove growing out of the rod of a stump. Another notable ground cover species. Bay Circuit Trail blows this little pummeled popsicle stand, heads down towards Lincoln. I believe as we come in close to the railroad tracks, we'll see a trail divergence. Piece of Katrina damage, maybe? Oh, I think I sense train tracks. Oh, 
house is an area where I used to fish. <laughs> <laughs>